Hello. In this video, we'll be talking about paper size versus print size, printable area, borderless printing, and some other options that affect how your prints are placed on the page. Let's start up here where we have information on the page reported by QImage. In QImage Ultimate, as with any other program, you set up your page size in the driver. So I just clicked on printer setup and you can see that my paper size says 8.5 by 11. But QImage Ultimate is reporting 8.26 by 10.76. Well, right there we automatically have an issue that we need to discuss. Why is this different? Well, the reason is because if you look at this piece of paper here, QImage Ultimate actually shows the full 8.5 by 11 page. That's the entire area from left to right and top to bottom. But this gray area along the side is a non-printable area. That's the area that the printer has defined as an area reserved for loading the paper, getting the print head up to speed, and so on, and it just can't print there. Now, I've even heard from other people using other software, some photo editors, for example. They'll see this in QImage Ultimate, this size here, and they'll say, well, in my photo editor, I was a able to print an 8.5 by 11 inch print on that page, or an 8.3 by 10.8, just a little bit bigger. Well, no, you really didn't. Uh, if you look at the paper and you actually measure the print, it didn't go any larger than this because these are the physical limitations of your printer and this is defined by the printer driver. It's reported from the printer driver back to QImage Ultimate and QImage Ultimate knows that this is the printable area. If you tried to print slightly larger, 8.3 by 10.8 in another program, and you think it actually printed that, actually measure the print that printed on the page and you'll find that it's a little bit smaller than that. It never exceeded this. And that's because some other programs, even the high-end photo editors, you can put in 8.3 by 10.8 and it'll say it printed it, but in reality it just lopped off part of the edge of the print, cropped it a little bit, and it never told you. QImage Ultimate won't do that. You, it is much more accurate and will only work within the bounds of what you can do, so you don't have any surprises when you print. Now, if you go into the driver, you may notice that most drivers have a borderless option. By clicking on the borderless option, I'm able to get this up to pretty much the full 8.5 by 11 size. Well, you may be tempted to say, that solves that problem. Um, I can now print on the entire sheet of paper. Why would I ever do anything but that? But if you look over here at this PPI, the pixels per inch that are being reported by the driver, you see something a little strange going on here. We know that Epson printers natively run at 720 pixels per inch. Canon and HP run at 600. This is kind of an odd number here. The reason that's there is because that is a way for the driver to force expansion on the page. When QImage Ultimate was first started and we were not in borderless mode, this reported a smaller size for your printable area. That's because that's the area that you have to work with, so why show anything bigger? Everything you do must be placed within those bounds. Well now it appears as if we've removed the bounds, and we have, but we've actually created a new set of problems. And Let me show you what I mean. If I pick a photo and I choose fit to page, everything looks great. We've got an 8.5 by 11 print here and we can print it out and that photo will come out looking great on the paper. There is an issue here, however. When most print drivers are set to print borderless, and the reason that this PPI changed here to an odd number is that this photo is actually expanded a little bit larger so that a little prints over the edges of the top, left, right, and bottom. 
and on the printer when it's printing it the print head will actually print ink beyond the edge of the paper and onto a sponge underneath the piece of paper and the reason that's done is because if you tried to fit an eight and a half by eleven print on an eight and a half by eleven page you've got no room for error the printer cannot load this page perfectly every time without any error so if it didn't expand the print and print it a little bit beyond the edge you'd see a little bit missing on this side maybe and over on the other side you'd see a little white sliver where it was a little bit of an error when it loaded the paper so this expansion takes care of that well that's all well and good for one picture that prints on the entire sheet of paper but what if we select this and we say I want to change that to a 5 by 7 well again you look at the size as reported by QImage Ultimate it says 5 by 7 everything looks great in reality when you print this photo on this sheet you'll find that it's a little bit bigger than a 5 by 7 it may be 7.15 by 5.15 and you'll wonder what's going on the reason that that happens is because your print driver is going to artificially expand every print that goes to this page regardless of the size and that's because you're in borderless mode so this print is actually going to be a little bigger than you called for QImage Ultimate is actually sending it to the driver at exactly 7 by 5 inches but the driver is then taking it and in quotes artificially expanding that print so that it's a little bit bigger it doesn't care that you're not trying to cover the page it doesn't know that so that's something that you have to be aware of in QImage Ultimate you can turn that expansion off even if your driver does not allow you to turn it off and the way we do that is edit preferences page formatting and if you go to where it says borderless overspray and expansion you can disable it now you'll get exactly a 7 by 5 print and that will take care of the expansion issue there's one more issue I want to point out however if you split this paper into a 2 by 2 and you have a 4 and a quarter inch print and a 4 and a quarter inch print that covers the entire page. If you print two side by side, be aware that with expansion turned off, again, the paper has to load perfectly with zero error for you to get what you want. Because what you want is one four and a quarter inch print here and one adjoining it here. But what you might find is with expansion turned off, there may be a little bit missing on this print, and you'll find that this print is maybe just shy of four and a quarter inches and the one over here may have a little white sliver that wasn't printed on on this side and again that's just the error in the mechanism when it loaded the page it just can't load it perfectly every time so be aware of that some people they'll tell me that they have a 24 inch wide roll and they tried to print three eight by ten prints across the paper and they'll find that the eight by ten on the left here is a tiny bit smaller than eight inches and the one on the far right has a little sliver of white on it well most of the time that can't be avoided because you're expecting your printer to do the impossible which is to load the paper with no loading or registration error whatsoever so hopefully this will help you understand some of the ins and outs of papers, sizing, borderless printing, and you'll know what you can do with QImage Ultimate because the ultimately QImage Ultimate must obey the hardware restrictions set down by the printer driver. That size that you see when you're not in borderless mode is the maximum size you can print on with any software so that's what we're working with in the white area here I hope this video has been informative and thanks for watching